keep running through the rest of the commodity market here if we can. Gold next uh, kind of hesitating. And really, there's not much to see Hesitating here. a little bit, but it wants it. It does it want wants something wants it. here, doesn't it? It's starting it to consolidate the last few it. days. And I'm going to tell you guys something, okay? When you look, and I'm not going to go off today. And what I mean go off, I mean go off on Jay Powell and his stupid commentary on the dollar today. Literally ridiculous. You can't even make sense of what he said. I, in fact, I'm going to do it. I, I, I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it. And you want to wait for gold or Bitcoin to do it, Matt. I'm going to do it together. Totality. Because because unlike J-PAL, we are together. United in one. We are one crew. Bitcoin and gold owners. One crew. And J-PAL, your stupid nonsensical commentary today is not going to stop that movement. Because the dollar, J-PAL, is not superior in everything to every other asset, and we all know it, J-PAL. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on what he talked about with the Bank of International Settlements today. I'm just going to give you a couple of his quotes, Mark. He says today, now he gave a speech today, gave the intro speech at the Bank of International Settlements. It was an online forum today. It's one of the, one of the major Fed speeches from this week. He stated that, Bitcoin is not a substitute. I'm, I'm going to give you some of his major takeaways, and you tell me if you agree or disagree. Okay, guys? Okay. okay. And, and we're looking at gold charts right here, but we'll look at Bitcoin here in a second. Mm -hmm. He said that Bitcoin is not a substitute for the dollar. That's correct. It's okay. not, right. not going to be. It's a, not a, a substitute for the dollar. It's not yeah. a reserve currency. Yeah. I agree. But it could be for gold. He said it could be? Yes. I don't use it that way. I, I, I don't know how he can make that same. I, I don't think so. Okay. One's physical, one's a digital, literally. But mm -hmm. okay, let's, let's move on from that commentary. He would not proceed with a, a central bank digital currency without massive public support and with congressional authorization. And so there's a lot of commentary recently around crypto in general, dollar digital, these central banks digitizing their currency through algorithms. China is, is, is most likely going to be one of the first countries to do so. And the Western governments through Jay Powell and the Bank of International Settlements is saying good luck to you, China. They are not looking to create a central bank digital currency. Now, mind you, the dollar is already digital, but we're talking cryptos. On, on, we're talking a different type of technology here. And so they are not looking to do that without congressional authorization and without vast public support, which we are light years away from that, mm -hmm. light years away from that. Now, he goes on to say, quote, crypto assets, and this is a quote from Powell, crypto assets, we call them assets. He said that sarcastically. They're highly volatile and therefore not really useful as a short uh, as a storage of value and they are not backed by anything now is that accurate that is cryptos accurate. are highly speculative and not backed by anything uh, besides the faith 100%. besides the faith and confidence of, of of people that utilize it correct correct okay now to me that statement if you took the word crypto asset and replaced it with the dollar, it would be an identical statement. So once again, crypto assets, we call them crypto assets. They are highly volatile and therefore not really useful as a storage of value. Who is the last person made an argument that the dollar is a storage of value? It doesn't, it, guys, the long-term charts on the dollar is not storage of value arguments. No. Never. So, what is the instrument that has been used as a storage of value literally for the dawn of time? Gold. gold. It's gold, right? So again, whether you, whether you agree or disagree with gold as an investment strategy doesn't change the philosophy that gold is seen by everybody as a storage of value, correct? Correct. Now, this is the same individual, Jay Powell, that runs the central bank, correct? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. It, just keep that in mind here. Now, he goes on to say they are more of an asset for speculation. So they're speaking of crypto. So they're not particularly useful for payments. Tim, would you agree with that? You don't use Bitcoin to buy stuff. You do not generally. use Bitcoin to buy things. Yeah, just because you can like, in a doesn't, few mean you doesn't mean you do. do. Yes. Right? So. Yes. Okay. It's more, it's more, again, he's coming on. I mean, he was about as anti crypto as he could be in this speech, guys, which is par for the course in central banks, right? They're anti Bitcoin and they speak their book more than any other institution in the world. Um, he then goes on to say it's essentially a substitute for gold rather than the dollar. So he spent the entire time making the argument for the dollar as both a superior asset class in both in terms of speculation and storage of value and and and, and as used as a transaction. Guys, those three statements can't be true. He knows that. He knows uh, that. I don't and know what you're the, talking about, Matt. After Jay Powell's speech, I'm like, I love fiat currency. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Why well, that's not? What, you he, know? Gave, he gave an extremely pro fiat currency uh, uh, speech here today. I just, again, I just want to remind Jay Powell that if, if gold is similar to Bitcoin, and if you truly do see gold, similar to Bitcoin, because that's what he's saying today, right? Yeah, that's what he said today. I, I, I'm, I'm not just creating conjecture here nope he stated that gold should be used in the in the bitcoin analysis he said it's only a speculative asset and 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 he is highly negative about bitcoin correct Mm -hmm. and the central bank does not own any bitcoin correct correct no then why does the central bank own trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars of gold well, there's obviously not logical cohesion in what he was saying with the actions of owning gold uh, Which by the Fed. Which, again, Mark, I just want to say yet again publicly, j Powell is a coward. He's a liar. He's speaking his book. And what he said today is about as nonsensical as you can get. It made literally zero sense historically. It made zero sense within literally sentences combined together had no reason to be combined together. It, it made zero sense. Listen, zero we're, sense. listen every so time I, w- th- these people speak, they only embolden anti-fiat individuals I, such as all of us. And more than anything, Bitcoin bulls out there. Bitcoin bugs out there, gold bulls, gold bugs out there. One crew, same team, same mm-hmm. team. Anti dollar, anti J Powell. J Powell should be fired. And I'm going to say this about gold. You see this price action here? You see this nasty price action on the weekly chart? It's either this or it's this. And I'm going to tell I, you yeah, right now. Yeah, I like that analogy. It is, it is one. Hundred percent. This you have the exact same economic central bank commonality in this subprime move here as you had in this move here post post economy reopening and, and pandemic. So either here you're saying this is the top price, or you're saying this is go time. And after Pal said today, it's go time. And so yeah, I wasn't going Listen. to, but I'm going to. I like a trigger above 1750 here. I like it long term. It's a daily aggressive trigger, but I like the zone of gold. And I do think that the gold chart from a fundamental behavioral perspective is far more like 09 than it is earlier last year of 2020. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and listen, my number one job in life is to provide a future for my children. That is my number one job. And there isn't a close second. And Jay Powell, a big middle finger to you, my friend, for you saying that I should put my faith in fiat currency put and your, your shenanigans the to protect us. If anything ever bad happens, it's because we're going to have a currency crisis. Guys, like, I'm sorry. Listen, your worst investment that you can have in the next 10 years is, is literally paper currency. Mm-hmm. It is the worst investment you could potentially have. The yeah, worst. So once again, tell and me how. And all is telling you today, <laughs> dump, dump your Bitcoin, dump your gold, 
And all you got to do is buy the safe haven asset and the storage of value of the dollar. <clears throat> Listen, well, and it's important because it's a physical. So, so once again, tell me more about how Bitcoin is a speculative Mark, asset. You when you guys are engaged speeches for this week, you guys are engaged in the biggest speculative endeavor with fiat currency in the history of mankind. 100%. You are just hoping it all works out. And you got models that say it will, right? It's you know, Mark, you are engaged in the biggest speculative endeavor in the history of central financial planning. But tell me more how Bitcoin's a speculative. Yeah, go, go tell us how Bitcoin sucks and gold is terrible, you dollar whore. Yeah, like listen, you guys are in a trap that you're never going to be get out of. You people are either incompetent or evil. I have not decided which and one. Here's the last bold. statement, Mark. J. Powell also said they don't want to compete with the banks for funding. I wonder why, since you have a printer. Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. I just want to jump off a cliff today after listening to Jay Powell. I only have one more question for you, though, Matt. Are you <laughs> sure? I, had, I do. I do. I am sure. Because part of the whole story that I find <clears throat> very, very fascinating as a crypto guy is that he said that they have no plans on creating any digital currency. Had they hinted at He's that? He's lying. Recently? That's yeah, percent. We know they've talked He's about this lying. internally, right? Yeah. Yes, he is. I. He's a coward. He's uh, in a butt. Every he's, major he's country far or... above his 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 head is completely buried here. He's got his head put in the sand. He's the ostrich. He's the coward ostrich, J. Powell.